Hey guys, Chris here from TD Motion. We have here today a Gen 3 Coyote engine, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap out the oil pan. So why we're switching out the oil pan, and I'm gonna tell you why. First off is this Gen 3 oil pan. You can see it's a composite oil pan. It's big, it's bulky and wide, and it just simply doesn't work for a lot of uh, Coyote swaps going into, let's just say, the early Broncos, Mustangs, other hot rods. So a uh, solution to this without getting into a very high-end oil pan, a low profile like a Canton or Moroso, which is all good, uh, is to go to the Gen 2 pan. So this Gen 2 is the original steel pan. It sits lower. Uh, there's more, more ground clearance there. And the key here is to use the proper oil screen. So we have a fabricated oil screen that we're going to show you over here on this engine. So we took the Gen 3 oil pan off and we need to switch out the uh, gaskets, which we did already. So just to, to move up the process here, we put the gasket on there and we just lightly put this screen in place. And the key to this screen is again, this is a special screen made for the, the Gen 2 oil pan swap into the Gen 3 is having the right uh, O-ring gasket. So we're gonna stay with the O-ring in there that I had from the factory. This screen will drop right in place. You need to switch out the studs, the main studs. We have one stud here. We have another stud here. So it's gonna be bolted in place, torqued down, making sure the O-ring is seated in place with the screen so it has a good seal. We're gonna put the, the new oil pan back in place and we're gonna be good to go. So this is all available through tdmotion.com.